If there's one thing I know for certain, it's that girls know how to get things done. <laughs> and given the right opportunities, young girls will probably do it better than all of us. Four years ago, I saw a need for youth to be able to raise their voices and be heard. Our young people are so much more than is portrayed on screen. The girls that I work with are intelligent, ambitious, clever, willing to make a difference, and fully capable of doing so. I believe that it is vital for us to portray our young people this way. Girl Awake Project annually casts six girls between the ages of 10 and 17 to make a year-long commitment to educate and inspire. 60% of our profits go to an international charity to raise money to ensure that humans around the world can reach their full potential. When we perform at schools and youth programs, I see on the faces of the young girls in the audience that this is something new to them. It's new to them to see young people talking about serious subject matter and to perhaps be expressing things that they thought they were the only ones who thought. Our girls are not model perfect or some unattainable ideal. Girl Awake Project believes that the world is full of flowers. Beauty surrounds us. We can make a difference. Scattering seeds makes many gardens. If only we will be awake enough to enjoy them and protect them. Don't bother me. I'm reading. Don't bother me with your silly inquiries. Here, let me answer them all. No, I don't have a boyfriend. I don't want to party. I'm not into boy bands, and I'm more than my cute vintage clothes. Thank you for the compliment. I'm reading. I'm not sitting or doing nothing, or homework or research, studying. I'm reading. I'm reading. I'm devouring, consuming, engaging, exploring, being educated, being inspired, becoming myself. Becoming myself. And it seems like myself is difficult to convey. I'm being educated by the media, brokered by Disney and WB. I don't look like your on-screen educators because I'm 14 and not 30. We, we are, are not 30. I'm quiet and thoughtful, not wild and dirty. I aspire for greatness in more ways than just fame. You can keep your stars, your icons, your fashionistas, your millions, because I'd rather be a philanthropist than an idol that's graven. Girl, Girl awake. awake! My books are written by those who went before me, sitting in corners, shunned at lunch, scorned by the loud, left out of parties they wouldn't have wanted to attend if the invite had been given but also by the loud, the proud, the not now. Not now! Girls who woke up and wrote, Patricia C. Reed, Mary Downing Hahn, Beverly Cleary, and J.K. Rowling. Mary Shelley, Donna Tartt, Lois Lowry, and E.O. Konigsberg. Maud Hart Lovelace, Lucy Maud Montgomery. Louisa May Alcott, Frances Hoggs and Burnett. Eleanor H. Porter, and Jean Stratton Porter. Sylvia Plath, Dorothy Parker, Virginia Woolf, Charlotte Bronte and Emily Bronte. And the Anns, Anne Bronte, Anne Rice, and Anne Frank. Malala Yousafzai, Johanna Reese, and Zlata Filipovic. They wrote the mentors of my mind. I might not roll with Beyonce, Lord, and Madonna, but I do hang with other one-name greats, with Ramona, Matilda, and Betsy, Tacey, and Tib. I've lived in an attic and an annex, dined at the Algonquin Round Table. Been through a war in Sarajevo, won the Nobel Peace Award. I've sold my hair, been a house elf activist. I live with dragons, won the Avery, and suffered a depression so deep, I felt absolutely nothing. And I've done this all while sitting right next to you. In school. In the car. In line at the grocery store. In this world where it's difficult not to drown in the pronouncements about how thin, how pretty, how savvy, how popular I can be. How real. How real. It is these voices, often fictional, that hold me afloat. 
I cannot breathe in a 15-inch waist. I am Barb from your visual demands. Goodbye, Barbie standards. Bye, 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 bye. <laughs> and I refuse to fall. <clears throat> I refuse to fall victim to your shallow world of haves and have-nots. My ears resonate with words strewn before my eyes. Before my eyes. Voices of opposition and steadfast courage. They shout, shout and prop me up in times of need. Anchor me in this turbulent era called adolescence. Adolescence. So please, please, please people, don't bother me. I'm reading. reading.